as the fallout from their summit grows by the hour. U.S. President Donald Trump and Russia's Vladimir Putin are both lashing out, saying they're fed up with the outcry over Monday's meeting in Helsinki. Trump placing the blame once again on the media, tweeting the summit with Russia was a great success, except with the real enemy of the people, the fake news media. I look forward to our second meeting so that we can start implementing some of the many things discussed. Putin apparently on much the same page, accusing, quote, forces in the United States of undermining the meeting's success and saying that some American politicians are sacrificing Russia-U.S. relations for personal ambitions. Trump has been struggling all week to contain bipartisan outrage and confusion over his comments in Helsinki and after about whether Russia interfered in the 2016 election. I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. He later said he had misspoken. In a key sentence in my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. But then reignited the uproar Wednesday when he appeared to tell reporters he did not think Russia was currently targeting the U.S. Is Russia still targeting the U.S., Mr. President? Thank Press, you very let's much. Go. The comment walked back hours later by Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. He said thank you very much and was saying no to answering questions. FBI Director Chris Wray speaking in Aspen Wednesday said his view of Russia remained the same. Russia attempted to interfere with the last election uh, and that it continues to engage in malign influence operations to this day. Later Wednesday, Trump told CBS News again that he accepted his intelligence community's take. I do have confidence in our intelligence agencies as currently constituted. The gentleman's time has expired. But the uproar in Washington growing louder. Democrats on Capitol Hill disrupted the House of Representatives Thursday morning, demanding action. Meanwhile, the White House has still offered no accounting of what was decided in Helsinki, as the Kremlin says it's ready to implement agreements that disconnect only adding to what's now become a full-blown crisis for the White House.